Hi, and welcome back to the Classic MGB channel. Now, for a car that was supposedly the poor man's Aston Martin, a number of not so poor famous people have owned them. Some of the people on this list will surprise you. So here we go with our countdown of our top 10 famous MGB owners. In at number 10, Bill Wyman, the bass player from the Rolling Stones. He's an avid car collector and, amongst cars he's owned, is an MGB Roadster. Now, some say that he's never had a driving license and that he sits in his cars and pretends he's driving. This is in fact incorrect. It was the late legendary Rolling Stones drummer Charlie Watts who never learned to drive. Hollywood A-lister Sharon Stone, probably best known for that scene in the Basic Instinct movie, once had a green black bumper MGB Roadster. She donated it in a charity auction in Hollywood run by Bonhams in 2006. Other items in that sale included the car used in the Flintstones movie, Viva Rock Vegas. Jerry Halliwell, former member of the Spice Girls, bought a 1965 red MGB Roadster with her first paycheck when the Spice Girls exploded onto the music scene in 1996. Like many, she regretted selling the car, so Jerry's husband, Christian Horner, boss of the Red Bull Formula One team, tracked the car down and bought it back for her as a present. Whilst the cost pales into insignificance when compared to the Grand Prix cars he's familiar with, He's reported to have said it's the most expensive MGB ever. Staying with the music theme and possibly challenging Mr. Horner's comment, this MGB was owned by none other than Britain and America's Got Talent judge and music business supremo, Simon Cowell. Although the car's based on a 1965 model, it's been heavily customised by frontline developments in the UK and boasts a 2.5 litre Mazda engine producing around 300 horsepower. Reportedly inspired by the Lotus Esprit and with a white Nappa leather interior, this car is the purist's worst nightmare. Simon clearly prefers his Rolls Royce though, as the car was sold at auction in 2023. The price? A cool $68,000. There's a link to a video of the car in the description if you want to see more. Before I go on, thanks so much to everyone that subscribed and liked our videos. Your support really is appreciated. If you haven't subscribed, it'd be great if you could. And also click the bell so you'll be notified when we upload new content. Oh, and as always, let us know what you think in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. So back to the countdown. One for the UK viewers next. Who watched the children's programme Blue Peter back in the day when Valerie Singleton, John Noakes and Peter Purvis were the presenters? Whilst John Noakes, sadly no longer with us, was a well-known petrolhead owning a Marcos amongst other cars, who knew that Valerie Singleton owned an MGB? The White Roadster was reportedly a birthday present from her boyfriend, radio DJ Pete Murray. The couple broke up in the early 70s though, and I wonder if she got to keep the car. Another musician on the list is Peter Tork, the charismatic keyboard and bass guitar player from the Monkees, who not only owned an MGB GT, he also wrote a song about it. Who could forget these lyrics? People let me tell you that if I had to make a recipe for fun in driving, I would have to spell it MGB GT. Sadly, Peter passed away in 2019, but this song lives on, and there's a link in the description if you want to have a listen. Here's probably the most surprising entry in this list. The former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher is reported to have owned an MGB GT. This photo shows her putting shopping into the rear hatch and the 2011 biopic of her life, The Iron Lady, shows her with her MGB GT in a car park. If the movie is to be believed, this scene took place in March 1979, before she was elected Prime Minister. In fact, on the day Northern Ireland Secretary Airy Neave was assassinated by a terrorist bomb outside the House of Commons. Margaret Thatcher, possibly the most controversial Prime Minister in British history, left office in 1990 and died in 2013. Another musician, Sting, born Gordon Sumner, who rose to superstardom as the lead singer and bass player of The Police, owned an MGB GT. From the photo, his MGB GT looks like a 1966 or 1967 car, although the photo is believed to have been taken in 1979. 
According to the Sunday Times Rich List, he's worth over £300 million and has homes in Wiltshire in the UK, New York and Tuscany in Italy. Not bad for a former teacher from Northumberland. George Best was one of the greatest footballers of all time, or soccer players for our American audience. He rose to success with Manchester United in the 1960s and 1970s and played for Northern Ireland at international level. Sadly, alcoholism led to his premature death in 2005, but he'll always be remembered for his love of life, ladies and fast cars. And so to the number one spot and probably the most famous person on our list, King Charles III. When he was Prince of Wales, King Charles was given a 1968 Mineral Blue MG CGT by his mother, Queen Elizabeth II. The car boasted wire wheels, heated rear screen, electric aerial and, almost unheard of in 1968, a car phone. It was specially prepared by MG at Abingdon and was displayed at Sandringham in 2022 as part of the Jubilee celebrations. So that's our list of famous MGB owners. Let us know if we've missed any in the comments and if you've enjoyed this video, it would be great if you could give it a like. Likes do help the algorithm gods to get the video out to a wider audience. Finally, as always, thanks for watching. Take care.